And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off, we had just entered the harp. Oops. And we had talked to um, a few of the people here. We are still in the first section of the harp. And we learned that, um, yeah, they trade water here. Yeah, and Ian was is responsible for that mess. Because he opened that gutter there. That wooden fence. That I will now close. Yeah. By the way, do you... Oh, that is Billy, by the way, yeah. Last time we talked to Dan. And he told us not to bother Billy. So let's bother Billy. Hello again. Just stopping by to see how things are going. Bye. By the way, by the way you can't barter with kids. In this game, I think. Uh, okay, we've been in there. Okay, let's not get into a fight here. Um, believe me, you don't want to. You don't want to get into a fight with the whole harp. That tends not to end very well for you. And it's getting darker. This game has, um, yeah, night and day, obviously. Okay, you see a police officer. Keep your nose, keep your nose clean while you're in this, your, our city. You see a police officer of the herb. Keep moving. You see Deputy Fry, <laughs> who was fast asleep, but didn't actually bother to lay down. It's just sleeping there standing, which is handy, I guess. And he just, yeah, sort of made a movement while, whilst he was asleep. Yeah, this game isn't totally accurate, um, but that's beside the point, because it's fun. That's what matters in the end. And this one is a more heavily um, armed policeman. And he told us to keep clear of Decker. I vaguely remember Decker from my previous Let's, uh, not Let's Play, but playthrough of this game. And I think you should indeed not bother um, Decker. You see Gunter. Let us invade Gunter's private home in the middle of the night. I'm sure he will not mind. No he, do no, he doesn't. Welcome to my humble house. What can I do for you? Yeah, what can you tell me about the hub? It's a, it is a sprawling city, the largest I've seen my, in my life. The center of the town lies to the south, with the other areas branching off in each direction from there. Where can I find supplies? I get everything that I need from Mitch, down by the Maltese Falcon. Just head on south from here. He, um, yeah, what about jobs then? I occasionally do a stint on one of the caravans that head out from here. If you're looking for that kind of work, just talk to one of the trading houses. I'm partial to the Fargo traders, but I work with all of them. Let's ask him another question. Where can I find ammo and weapons around here? Well, I buy most of my stuff from Beth at, over in the weapon store. Got a pretty good selection. What would I do if I was looking for something a little more exotic? I've heard there's some guy over in Old Town that deals in stuff with a little more punch. Yeah, I think that, that's the guy that sells energy, energy weapons. Um, so we, we, do, we do want to Remember that? Okay, can I ask you another question? What do you do around here? I get by. I hire on with the caravans when I'm, I'm a little short on, on cash and work for the farmers down south a bit. Okay, that's maybe another potential um, job. Yeah. Potential job for us. Okay, can I ask you another question? 
who's the law around here? Well, you probably passed Deputy Fry, and we did. That was the guy who was um, sleeping. You probably passed Deputy Fry on your way down here. His boss is Sheriff Green, and you'll find him in the police station most of the time. Let's go to Sheriff Green and tell him that Deputy Fry is sleeping on duty then. Can I ask you another question? Can you can I barter with you? What do you have? Eleven bottle caps, okay. Ugh. Okay, what's do I have some crap in my inventory that's Okay, that's worth three bottle caps. Let, let's give him all our new Coca Cola. Okay. And now that poor guy just lost all his bottle caps. Okay, bye. Let us invade his privacy a bit more. I'm sure he won't mind. Okay, that's empty also. I don't think we've been in here yet. Um, hello, is this empty? No. There's a farmer. What? Do you go around bothering everyone? Well, in fact, I do. Um, yeah. Okay, let us leave. Let us leave. <clears throat> um, oh, actually, have we been in this building? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, and again, the problem of, yeah, finding the door. Hello, generic farmer. Don't call the police, please. Uh, okay, they're not very happy, apparently, that we are invading their privacy, so let us leave. Let us not make them call the police. Okay, there's the way to the market. Um, Can I get into that building? Hmm, maybe, okay. Let's see, okay, that's the... Hmm. Let us go into the general store. I don't suppose you sell water chips, do you? Water chips, do you? Hello, Mitch. You see Mitch of the all-in-one store. How may I help you today? I'd like to buy something. Do you have a water chip? No, but you have flame for a fuel. I don't think I actually ever had a flame for in this game. Um, I don't. Not sure whether there exists one, but there most certainly is flamethrower fuel. A cylinder containing an extremely flammable liquid fuel for flamethrowers. And he also sells red waves, a chemical solution that bonds with radiation particles and passes them through your system. Takes time to work. Yeah, that's, a pr that's basically um, your antidote against radiation. We will actually need um, to have a few of these items when we will eventually go to the glow. But we don't need them right now. There's a radio. There's a combat knife, which I suppose is better than mine. A high quality combat knife. The Stallona is from Sharpwood, Inc. The edge of this blade is guaranteed sharp for over a decade of use. Okay, how much do you want for that? Okay, um, maybe not right now. You see stupas, not stupa, super stim packs. Also referred to as simply a super stim. 
This is a very advanced and powerful piece of healing technology. While it is capable of healing even severe wounds and major tissue damage, it also causes some internal hemorrhaging to the... And then the text was cut off. Okay, it, yeah, it causes... So basically it's, it's a much better version than the Super Stim Pack. Uh, sorry, the Stim Pack. But it has a negative side effect and the funny thing is um, well, most of the, the drugs that you that you find in this game have some some sort of negative effect, like these psycho pills. Um, a unique delivery system filled with strange and unknown, unknown chemicals of probably military origin. It is supposed to increase the combat potential of a soldier. Okay, this one is a yeah does um. Does heal you, does heal you. Much better than an ordinary stim pack would, and this one increases your, yeah, your strength, I think. But the downside is, um, you will get addicted to, or you can develop an addiction to these drugs, and when you get into withdrawal, the drug has actually the negative effect of what it normally does. So this one would make you weaker. But the, the stim pack, um, yeah, causes some damage to your system. So you can actually do something very funny. If you apply enough stim packs, super stim packs to another person, you are effectively poisoning them. They will die. Yeah, so that's a way to assassinate people here in this game. Although it's a bit expensive. Um, Okay, how much do we want? Yeah, 468 bottle caps for one super stim pack. He also has some books um, that we don't care about in the motion sensor. Watts Electronics ICU model motion sensor detects the movement of biological material over a distance of 300 meters using a tuned radar device. Okay, oof, oof. Yeah, 1666. That's absurd, okay. Some mentats. These basically make you more intelligent. Um, I'm not going to read out, out this text for that. A Geiger counter, which, yeah, does the obvious thing. And stim packs. And as you can see, his price is almost double. Um, he almost wants twice as much for one stim pack as the, as the caravan uh, guard wanted, so... His prices are not very, um, not very cheap. So we, you basically want to avoid having to deal with him. He won't buy from you then. By the way, he, yeah, he doesn't have a water chip. But let's ask him. Yeah, he has no clue about water chips. So let's leave. You see a shifty looking character. Let's talk to him. Psst, come here. So what you're doing in the hub? Ah, uh, why? You're looking for something I need. Well, we got all needs. We all got needs. It might be able to, might be able to help you with some of them. So, what sort of needs do you got? Needs? Uh, I need have I need the I have need of some information. So you're looking for information, huh? Being a respectable businessman, I got I got overhead. So I need a few caps to tell them you. A few caps to tell you what you need to know. Now what? Now that we got that straight, what I want to know about? Um, well, I'm looking for a certain commodity, if you know what I mean. Stuff for needs, huh? I know a guy's over, guy over in Old Town that can probably fix you up with some stuff like that. But you know what? He needs to know who you are before you show up at his doorstep. Let me guess, this invite is going to cost me. 
exactly. So I'm thinking only for you, of course, 1000 caps. So you can talk to this guy without him blowing off your head first. Uh, I don't like that price. Because you like me so much, Lemmy, why don't you just do it for free? Trying to intimidate poor old Lemmy, huh? Well, it's not afraid of the likes of you. I'll just be seeing her around. Yeah, and when we come back, folks, we will continue to harass shifty looking people. Yeah, and shady, not shady sense. The hub. So until next time, folks, until then.